Good morning, everybody. Hello from Cooking with Mo and Deb. I'm Deb, and this is Mo. Mo. <laughs> we are coming to you early on a Saturday morning. It really is not real early, but it's still Saturday morning. <laughs> this is brunch time. <laughs> yes, it don't is. You think? And what we're going to make is a great brunch food too. Well, right? We're going to make breakfast food. It, but it could be it's brunch too. Brunch. Breakfast or brunch. And when uh, Britt was making this the other day on our live, and she was having it for dinner. So okay, so anytime, but. You said Brent, so yes. one of our followers, Brent um, McClure, Brent McClure, sent us this recipe for her French toast, and I've made French toast through the years, but I do a real simple, you know, eggs, a little milk, a little salt and pepper, butter, but Brent's recipe sounds a lot better. It does, and it has a special ingredient that she does at certain times mm -hmm. that, don't let me forget that we want to tell, but we'll tell that okay. after we get this done. I'll, I'll so. try to remember to remind you. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to remind me to remember that i got to tell right. something. <laughs> okay. So this is this is one big thing, too, that Britt does that I think make, probably makes a big difference. She this uses sourdough bread. I've never used sourdough I haven't either. for um, French toast. This one came from the Bluffview Bakery in Chattanooga, Tennessee, one of my favorite little bakeries. They have the most delicious breads. And I was in there the other day getting me some of our tomato artichoke soup that oh, I also love. Soup. I yeah. my favorite <laughs> soup. I couldn't stop thinking about it, Deb. So I drove all the way across downtown from my job and got me a bowl. But I saw that and I was like, that would be good. Perfect for French mm -hmm. toast. Yeah. So here we are. We're making the French toast. And so we're going to start with, Deb, three eggs. Three eggs. You could, if you're not making as many, you could do um, two eggs. And uh, Britt spe specifically said to make it on a buttered skillet. Uh, we have a griddle on my stove top, and we have already buttered it and melted the butter. So it's been, the eye's been on for just a few minutes. Yeah, I'm going to have to get on. me one of those griddles, Deb. So it's, it reaches over two eyes, and I do use it on both eyes, but on one eye, because my eye is a little in the back. It's cast iron. It is a ca type of, it's like cast iron. Oh, it's like cast iron. Um, but you can probably only put one in the back, and then maybe two, and possibly three in the front part of it. Right. Okay. Okay, I got my eggs in. You want to get those out of the way? All right. So I'm just kind of mixing up those eggs. And now I'm going to add some heavy cream. Now, Britt, you didn't give us how much of this and how much of that. So I think you do probably what me and Deb do, and that <laughs> is just guess. You know, you just like, oh, that looks about right. So that's what we're going to do this morning. We're going to add some heavy cream. You think about that much? That sounds, it looks good to start with anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we're mixing in. We're going to oh. tie, we're, we'll give Yum. you some pretty good ingredients. Uh, yeah. How much do you think, or measurements, I guess, was that? Mm. A fourth of a cup? Yep. I don't think it was quite a fourth. Not a fourth. Okay. But, oh, look at that now. That's going to mm. be so good. Okay. Now, she said to add some sugar. We've got a fourth cup measure, but I'm not adding the whole fourth a cup. I'm going to add about half of that fourth a cup. So about two tablespoons then. Yeah. Deb, you're a lot better with measurements than I am. <laughs> okay, so there went the sugar. Now we're going to add some cinnamon. And let's let's go ahead and measure that, Deb. Right. Where's your measuring spoon? Aha. Uh -huh. I picked the right one. Teaspoon? This is a half a teaspoon. Okay, do a half. Let's look. Yeah, I think that's enough, don't half you? Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You think that's enough, Deb? That was, yeah. You know, if this if this if this is not exactly what you would uh, like, if you like more cinnamon, then I'd try putting a little more cinnamon on Brian, it. when you watch this, you're gonna yeah. have to straighten us out. You're gonna have <laughs> if to say, no, girls, something wrong, tell no, us girls, you need to do this, not that. <laughs> I may add a little bit more sugar. Okay. So that's a little more than an eighth of a cup. All right. And some salt. And some salt. It said a pinch. A pinch of salt. She did tell us a pinch of yes. salt. Pinch. Let's see. Milk. I mean, the milk mixture is heavy cream, sugar, cinnamon, salt, and the eggs. And so that's, we got that now. And we've got butter on the skillet. Do you think we have sufficient butter? Um, we can do more if you like. Maybe just a smidge. All right. How much is a smidge? Do you know? <laughs> it's a smidge of, uh, is however much. 
Oh, to and each person, probably. the perfect hotness. It is, isn't it? It's bubbling. The butter is bubbling, but not burning. Yeah, I don't... It's not fun when the butter burns. And you don't want it to turn brown because it will make our French well, toast yeah. brown, too, right? Okay. So, right, so what do you think? Is it I ready? I think we're good. Okay. So one reason we use three eggs instead of two, we're not making that many pieces. But look at the size of this sourdough, y'all. This is huge. That's why I love me some Bluff View. They don't skimp. Do you have the little tongs there? there? You want them? Yeah, I'm just Ooh, dunking it with good. my fingers. Okay. okay. I can also tongue it, but I'm just finger licking good. There you go. Right here. All right, we're going to turn it up. Oh, you know what? Save. The back eye's not on. What? The back it was eye on, and on. we turned it off because we were talking. Yeah, we were <laughs> afraid our butter. I forgot to turn it back on. <laughs> we were afraid our butter would burn. Now I'm going to put one on the front because it's probably more ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hear that there it sizzle? goes. I, can, I heard it that time. That looks good. Sizzle, sizzle. If you would rather have a spatula, here's a spatula to, to turn with. Okay. So the other thing Britt Brit said, oh, let me turn the camera down so you can see these on oh, the... Oh, yeah, they might didn't even see, see what we're that. doing. Uh, Britt also said uh, she named some things that you might want to have for toppings. Uh, of course, we've got some syrup. We're going to do some strawberries. We've got some uh, bananas. You could do whipped cream. Whipped cream. Woo! I don't have whipped cream. Yeah, but we got heavy cream. We can make we some. We can whip some. And with powdered sugar. So while they're cooking, I'm going to fix the strawberries. Okay. Now you can add a little salt and pepper to this part. That's oh, what okay. I usually there's do. There's salt. So I'm going to add just a wee bit. And there's the pepper. Just a wee bit of salt and a wee bit of pepper. <laughs> Here's the pepper. Is this, oh, there's, there's your fancy pepper grinder. So I'm going to cut these strawberries and blueberries with this Pampered Chef cup slicer. What you do is you just sit it down on them and it cuts it this way and it's going to slice each one of them oh up and they're going to be the exact same size. So mm -mm. Uh, you mm -mm. probably saw this before, but while those are cooking, I'm going to quickly let's see if can fix I my zoom berries. In, Deb? Does it zoom? No, it I zoom. sure wish it did, but no, it does we not need a zoom. Zoomer. Now, I'm going to flip this over. <gasps> Look how pretty. Nice. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so how, how quick it is. Yeah. So this here's the strawberries ready. already. That was chopped quick, up man. and all the same size. So I'm going to put them into a little bowl and set them here on my serving dish. We're going to make it all pretty on this. Yes, we are because... You eat with your eyes first. <laughs> Deb always says, you I, eat I, I'm like Forrest Gump. <laughs> Mom always said, you eat with your eyes first. <laughs> and then we've got some bananas. Yeah, that one's right and ready to flip. Get back on there. Yeah, that's that eye that I didn't have on good yet. Let me scooch him back on the eye because I turned that eye up a little bit. So I have a banana. I'm going to do the same thing with the banana. Here, I'm gonna, Can you see me from Hey, watch this. It won't go all the way, so. It'll go some of the way, though, right? Yeah. Looking at the Mow floor. The, oh. <laughs> Here we go. Is that better? Yes. So I'm cut. Wait, I went the wrong way. Look in the camera. Am we seeing? Hey. I mean, can we see <laughs> what you're doing? Yeah. So, uh, oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, right there. Good. One more time. There we go. Oh, my goodness. There's the bananas. I love that. Just like the strawberries. You know, I ordered that, and I have that now, but I haven't used it one time. Really? I, really. Really. But. I love it. I will. I definitely will. Okay. Okay, Deb, now where's the pan that these go on? Because this one's almost ready. We're going to lay them right here. Oh. Right here in the middle. Right there. Okay, this one's getting ready now. Do, 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 do. So that's it's a really quick breakfast, right? You can um, yes. get this done in no time as long as you keep your eye on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I forgot to do there on that one, but now when we get these up, we're gonna add more butter, right? Oh, okay, we can. Yeah. I mean, just to the sure to areas the, that sure. we're actually using. We want to, now that I'm now that I know how your pan works better. Yeah, sometimes you gotta add more. Got you pieces. So. Okay. Put a couple right in this area yeah, and then have the one there over there. Two there. Yeah. So 
we can actually do four in one time, mm -hmm. which is perfect. Now okay, this, oh, so, go well, <laughs> go ahead. So, Britt said her, um, at Christmas time, she uses eggnog instead of heavy whipping cream. Oh, my goodness, that would so, be so good. So, won't that be great? That's what a great Christmas morning breakfast, uh -huh. using eggnog. Or a Christmas That's Eve a good idea. Um, snack using eggnog for French toast. i got to order me this pan first. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty and golden. It is beautiful. Um, so I, I flipped that one a couple of times. So sometimes you have to do that just to get to the right. And you don't... Oh, here's what I was going to say. Okay. Go. When your sourdough goes into your egg mixture, it really does absorb that. Soaks it up. So if you don't cook it long enough, what's going to happen to the inside? It's not going to be done. Oh. So you got to make sure... That. Let me turn that eye up a little bit on the back. Yeah, I think so. It doesn't seem to be. I'm usually a slow cooker, so I yeah. cook everything kind of low. But okay, this one's perfect. We can turn them up. That. Turn them up a little bit. Okay. They look right. just delicious. So we will need a spatula to get okay. them. I don't want to break. I was going to just lay them across. Okay. Right Let's start there. Perfect. We've got this one, some. I'm moving him up here. That's a good idea. Got some yeah. strawberry jelly to add to the charcuterie. Charcuterie. I've got my butter on the charcuterie. Um, we have some powdered sugar. Do you sprinkle powdered sugar Ooh, on yours? That does sound good. Yeah, sprinkle some. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh my goodness. We'll sprinkle some wait. more as each one of them gets on. I need to call Tink and tell him to come over here and eat. I know. He was going to take some garbage off this morning to the and then you can use whatever sugar, I mean, uh, syrup, like wouldn't some uh, maybe blueberry or blackberry uh, syrup, syrup do oh. be, be nice to put on here with them? Yeah, this is going to yeah. be so good. Britt, thank you. <laughs> thank you for sharing your recipe with us. This so awesome. We are going to get a couple more slices ready, and when we come back, we'll have those on the stove cooking. Be right back. Okay, you guys. We are back, and here is Ooh, our that looks so good. Our it? griddle of yes, French toast, and y'all, these are gonna be so good, lip smacking. I mean, and these um, have turned out perfectly. I think we had our butter just right, our pan just right, and they're turning out really good. Just perfect, yummy. Mm -hmm. Yep. And our tray is going to look so good. Um, this is the best brunch I've ever had, I think. I think so. <laughs> Especially, you know. Um, what am I trying to say? View wise. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be so pretty. Beautiful, right. Yeah, it's beautiful. Those look so good. They're perfect. Um, they are. Cooking up just perfect. I tore that one a little bit. It's okay. It'll taste I'm just, just good. I'm, I'm going to have to flip this one again because he looks like he's got He's got a little on egg. the edge. Nisa. He's got egg on his yeah. face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there you go. So, do y'all like French toast? Do you have your own French toast recipe? Yeah. I've never, I mean, I don't make it much, so I don't really know a whole lot about making French toast. What about the bread? I don't, I don't think I've ever used sourdough. But I wonder if there if it works good for other kinds of bread. I what? think you can use any kind of bread. You could use white bread. You could use wheat bread. You could use just you know just a loaf of white bread like you get from the store. Texas toast or something thicker. Th yeah. Would you do that too? I think too? so. I think that would be great. Um, I I believe she said she oh. uses sourdough, so we're using sourdough. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's gonna be awesome. Hi, Hi. Anita. <laughs> There's company. <laughs> We're not live, Anita. Video. We're doing a video, Anita. Oh, We're doing a body French toast. You want to show your face on video? My sister-in-law, Anita, is here. <laughs> We're almost done. You want some French toast? You've been working out, haven't you? We did a yoga class, and then after French toast, we're going okay, to Deb, go walking. I'm ready for these. Okay, they're ready. Okay, turn them the same way. Oh, I know. <laughs> Okay, go sprinkle. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle powdered sugar on them. Man, they smell good. Britt, I am just really excited about your recipe. Ooh, I might have gotten that in a little brown, Deb. That's all right. These things are brown. Ooh, I smell them. I smell that cinnamon. I do too. 
Okay, this one little troublemaker right here. This still needs a minute. And he's going to be on top, so he's got to be perfect. He doesn't need to look good. <laughs> this, um, if, I, if this pan disappears, you're going to know where it's going to be. I think I have to pad you down be. before you leave, right? <laughs> Make sure my pan is not it. hidden somewhere. I'm going to stuff it under my shirt. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This one's right, good. Last one. Turning the eyes off. There we go. And the syrup goes right here at the bottom. I'm going to be camera woman again. Well, remember how far it'll stretch. It don't I go know, all the way I'm over. I'm going to drop it. Okay. Is that good? Um, yep, there can you go. See? Yes, we can see. Can y'all see that wonderful, beautiful display deb has made of our french toast looks yummy it does all right we're gonna um get a plate and do a little taste test so we'll be right okay it's time for a taste test you ready it's my favorite part um what do you want butter on it? on it um extra butter i don't know yeah, well maybe do you maybe want we'll fruit on butter. it butter uh, well here you fix yours oh this is mine yes you okay. fix yours all right, I'm fixing mine, y'all. And then I'm going to put a little syrup. A little syrup. Mm. I'm not going to put a lot of syrup because I want to taste the actual. It's a good thing you don't want a lot because that spoon didn't allow you to put very <laughs> I know, much this is, it. I need to be eating out of this spoon <laughs> every day. How about some strawberries? Oh, my goodness. We need a big blob of whipped cream on we that. We do. Then. That's the one thing we should have made some. I and forgot then, about it. I don't. I think I'm gonna skip the no bananas. Uh, bananas. All right. What is this? That's strawberry jelly. Oh, it don't go good with this. Homemade strawberry. strawberry jelly from the kitchen of Deb. Yes. Okay. What are you gonna do? Um. I want some berries. I'm gonna wait on you to take my bite. And some. Well, let's. Okay. And some bananas and a little syrup, and I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of our. Okay. See how. I'll get my bites. Let's ready. see how Britt's recipe does. I bet you could eat it with nothing on top, and it. I think you could too. It would be. Usually, I just have rest. syrup That's to tell you the truth. I do like syrup on it. Mmm. Yummy. Mm-hmm. It's a good. <laughs> That's really good, Britt. I'm good about with strawberry. I need a little mm -mm, more syrup. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Those are so good, Britt. I love your recipe. And, you know, I can't wait to try it with eggnog. I can't wait to have it. Do you have any coffee? I don't have any coffee. Damn me. Not a coffee drinker. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get her to start drinking coffee. Meh. Okay, <laughs> so here's what I was going to say. The mixture of the sweet and the syrup... And the sour of the sourdough bread mm. is a perfect combination. You're right. It's a perfect marriage. That's what makes it's it so fun. good. What a great... I'm so glad to know about the sourdough bread. Mm. Wow. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Y'all have got to try this. Look for the recipe in above the video. And give it a try. And try it with the eggnog when the eggnog comes out. So... That's going right. to be good with the eggnog. All yep. right. Give it a try, y'all. Bye, everybody. Bye. See y'all.